What's cracking, Josie Garfunkel? Let's learn some shit. So following with my previous videos on setting up a local server, in this video, I'm going to show you how to add mods to your local server. So let's get started. So to begin with, to get some mods for your local server, at this point, we already have our local server installed and set up and we are able to put boots on the ground. So you're going to come to your Steam, you're going to go to the community, and you're going to go to the workshop. In the workshop, we're going to search DayZ, and here we will find all the mods available publicly for DayZ. And you can install anything on a local server, same as any other server, but specifically today we're going to look at the local server. And for today's example, we are going to install my Jeeps mod. So if you haven't already checked this out, Go ahead and install this, follow along, and put it on your local server. Check these vehicles out. So what you want to do first is subscribe to the mod that you want to add to your server. And we're going to open our launcher right around this saying it's done downloading. Our launcher is going to download it or update it, initiate the installation. And our launcher is going to tell us that a new mod was installed. So what we want to do is go to our mods tab. We're going to find Josie's Jeeps or whatever mod specifically. You're going to find the workshop one. Drop down menu. Hit these three little dots right here. Open folder in Windows Explorer. That's going to open your file browser. Just click I understand on that notification. And this is your workshop folder with all the stuff you've subscribed to. And here we have Josie's Jeeps. Now, if you followed along with previous videos of mine, you already have a shortcut for your server right here on your desktop. If you don't, go ahead and go down the path of the C drive programs, Steam, Steam Apps, Common, Daisy, etc., and get to your Daisy server. So what we're going to do now is right click on the workshop folder mod. We're going to copy the mod, the whole folder. Go to your Daisy server folder, right click and paste it. And now you will have pasted in that mod, Josie's Jeeps. Once we've copied the folder over to our server, go ahead and open one or the other and go to the keys folder. Then on your local server folder, you're going to find your keys folder down here towards the bottom. And you want to copy this key and paste it over here with the rest of your keys. I already have my own key, so we're just going to replace it in the destination either way. There we go. Now we have the mods key in our server keys folder. Over in our workshop folder, we're going to back up a little bit. And in the main directory of the folder where the add-ons is and our keys folder is, are some XMLs. Now this is my specific mod and I've included the types and the spawnable types for you to add or copy into your existing files. Not all mods will include the XMLs. You may have to get a list from somewhere. But in this case, simply add the entries into the corresponding file or I have a video on how to just directly add these files to your server check that out. Now that we've done that, we're going to open our batch file for the server that we've created. You can get an example batch file from the discord, but this long string towards the bottom is going to have a little section called mod. And you guessed it, that's where we're going to call our mods. We have to put the mods folder on the server, the key in the keys folder, and then we have to call it so the server knows to use it. So what I do is open my server folder, find the mod we're going to add, in this case, Josie's Jeeps, click it twice slowly so you can rename it or just click rename, control C to copy that, click back over in your mods line, 
you're going to control paste with control or you're going to paste with control V and then semicolon after every mod put a semicolon even on the last one and this is how we're going to tell the server to call our mods so to recap again there's three steps basically once you've subscribed to a mod you put the folder of the mod on your server you put the key from the mod into your server's keys folder and then in the mod line you're going to call the mod four steps add your xmls and once we have our mod installed and the xmls added we're just going to double click our batch file if you've watched my previous videos you already have a shortcut of that on your desktop for handiness then you're going to open your launcher you're going to go to the servers tab you're going to go to the lan tab and you're going to wait for your server to load up once it pops up you're going to go ahead and click join it'll list the mods that you have installed and you're just going to select the red button in most cases now if you're a modder and you're testing some mods out you might be using your server version instead of your workshop version so you would have to hand select your mod and then you would click the gray button under the red button but that's another story so we're just going to wait for our server to load up and we're going to test out a couple of these jeeps that we just added So now that we are in our server, we're going to use our admin tool to spawn some stuff in. I'm going to go into free cam mode here. I'm going to pull up our object spawner. Simply search Jeep since we just installed Jeep or search whatever you have just installed using this video and spawn some of your items to make sure that they are working. So there we have a couple vehicles here from the mod we just installed, Josie's Jeeps, a couple versions of off-road vehicles. So that was installed successfully. So let's do a quick recap. What we're going to do is open Steam. We're going to go to the Community tabs, Workshop, search DayZ, find whatever mod we want. We're going to subscribe to that mod. We're going to open Launcher. We're going to find the mod. We're going to hit the drop down menu. We're going to hit the three dots and then we're going to click open folder in Explorer, which is going to bring us to our workshop folder. We're going to open our Daisy local servers folder. And we are going to right click the workshop folder mod that we want. Copy it. Right click into our Daisy server and paste it. We're going to add the key from the mods keys folder into the keys folder of our server, which is gonna be down here towards the bottom. We're gonna add any XML bits that come with the mod. And then we're gonna call the mod in the mod section or the mod line of our batch file. From there, we're simply gonna launch the server, load into the server, and check out the mod. So that's going to be it for this one. Hope you learned some shit. I'm out.